In this movie, we're going to talk about changes to the database that are a little more complex than just where it's located. I'm referring to field name changes. Table names can also change in databases, at which point Crystal pretty much strips out whatever table that was out of the report because of the new name. Of course, you may ask why someone would want to do something like that. Just be known that in my experience it has happened and it can cause a lot of work specifically a lot of rework, reworking and recreation of queries and reports and so on. However, in most cases, new fields are added or some of the field names have changed slightly. This has to do with a lot of pointy-haired bosses who think that a certain abbreviation of a field name or a certain field name is cooler than another one, but that's a discussion for another day. Let's illustrate what we mean and how to deal with these types of changes. Let's go to our database and let's go to set data source location. From here we're going to create a direct connection. And there's a support file called database remodified. And press finish. From here highlight the remodified and click the update. The client will map to the client name. Click map. The client num now maps to client number and map. Once this has been filled up you say OK. This is the message you get when some tables could not be found. In this case, no match was found for the new data source. Please specify the table required for any modified tables. Unfortunately, Crystal won't let you do that from here. You have to close and you get this message, fail to read data from the database. This means we go to our database expert, we scroll up, and it's still pointing to the old data source. From here, we have to remove that table and press OK. From there, we have our remodified DB and they've renamed it to rev transaction. From here you add it back and go back to your links. Now your revenue transaction based on the subject matter experts say that's the same as the rev transaction table or the revenue transaction table and this time Crystal can link client number and client number from the customer table easily. Now the office table is a little mislinked but we're gonna go ahead and delete those by highlighting each one and pressing delete. You can also highlight them and click on the delete link key. We scroll upwards, in this case site number to office number and press OK and then refresh the report data. In this case if you have groups in the field that existed in the old table name Crystal has stripped them out. In this case we right click on the group header one either from preview or design view, choose the change group and we scroll down to the revenue transaction table where we'll choose revenue date and we'll choose for each year and press OK and then click preview. We're still not quite done. Notice we're missing a whole bunch of fields. Again, once the table name has changed, Crystal strip out the table and the fields in the report that link to that table. Notice the customer, which just had field name changes, remained where it was once we mapped them. This is very important to realize, to stay on top of these database changes. We all know we go to the View menu, the Field Explorer, and now that we've rejoined the new and improved table name, Rev Transaction, we can pull in our revenue amount into our Details section here, and Refund Amount as well. You can also choose from any of the new fields, like for example there's a manager nickname that we can drag onto the report. To summarize, there are two types of major database changes you need to watch out for. Number one are the field name changes. Usually Crystal helps you in this endeavor when you're pointing to the new data source. It'll bring up the inconsistencies in field names and ask you to clarify and help it map. The problem arises when you change the table name or have to deal with table names, not that you changed it personally. If you've done that, it's pretty much creating the report from scratch again and ranking to the new table and then pulling in the fields from that table. Hopefully you won't have to deal with that very often.